anytime you're using arithmetic in Ruby, it's really important to understand the order of operations because the compiler is going to take a very specific order on which operators it goes to first and which ones it holds off to the end. So there's something that you can use to remember it, and it's a sentence that says, please excuse my dear Aunt Sally. And uh, you may also have heard of just the acronym of PEMDAS. And what it represents is parentheses, exponents, multiplication, division, addition, and subtraction. And there may, depending on which country you were born in, uh, PEMDAS is also sometimes referred to as Piedmas. Uh, usually, I've uh, when I've worked with some people in Europe, uh, uh, they've said this, and uh, they view division as coming first. But uh, I I've always done PEMDAS, and it seems to work pretty well. So um, we have parentheses, we have um, exponents, multiplication, division, addition, and subtraction in that order. So what does this mean? For a problem let's run, let's actually create one so I'm gonna create not a difficult problem to solve but something that has all of these elements but in a different order so I'm gonna say 5 plus 15 times 20 minus 2 divided by 6 to the power of 3 minus parentheses 3 plus 1. So this has each one of these elements in here. So we have addition, we have multiplication, subtraction, division, exponents, subtraction again, and then parentheses with addition inside the parentheses. So if we hit run, this is going to give a value of 301. And so what this did uh, to break it down, it first went here. So uh, I'm going to do this just like it's a old school math problem. And uh, we'll just move our work down each line so the first thing it did was came here and it said okay what's three plus one this is equal to four next thing it did was come down the line and say okay where's our exponents so six to the power of three my math is nowhere near good enough to do that especially at this time in the morning so let me just print that out um, so i'm going to say six to the power of 3, okay, that equals to 16. So it, in this line, we have 216. Okay, on the next line, next one's going to be multiplication. So that's going to be 20. And I'm going to uh, keep my calculator here, make sure we're doing the numbers correctly. So that's just going to be 20 times 15 equals 300. And so this one can be here. And now division. And on the division side, we have 2 divided by 216. So that's going to give us a, let's see, now this is an interesting problem because right here one thing you may notice if I run this in the calculator I get this number but if I run this in here and this is something I was gonna say for our next video and we still will do that one but um, I do want to show you some 2 divided by 216 equals comes out as zero and in the next video we'll talk about why that is 
um, because that's not accurate the way you think mathematically, but there is a reason for it. So um, we'll uh, we'll just leave it like that's uh, like that's accurate for now. Okay, so that's there. Now we have five plus three hundred, so that's going to be three oh five and then we can just do the last one we can do both of these at the same time 305 minus 0 minus 4 is equal to 301 and that is the answer that it ran through so all of this works this is taking parentheses first exponents multiplication division addition and subtraction that's and we did it out manually so you could see it step by step but that is going to be really important and this is not just for equations this is also for uh, for other parts of your application so uh, you may have something like a a method later on in Ruby where you have conditionals and your conditionals uh, could be nested so you could have something so say if X is greater then seven and um, and y is less than nineteen and uh, or z is z is equal to five and you may see something where they go like this and actually combine them these ones are going to get processed first and then it's going to go here so uh, the order of operations is not just in a uh, in the arithmetic it also is included when you're doing other parts of your application so uh, a good rule of thumb is if you see parentheses anywhere in a conditional or an equation just know those ones are going to be the ones that are processed first and if you have multiple ones uh, then you're gonna see it uh, process it from left to right so if you had a an equation like this whereas four Four minus one plus five divided by three plus parentheses two plus two. Uh, it's going to process the next step in this iteration is it's just going to process it here. So it's going to say three and then the next one going to process it and move on to this parentheses and say four so and then just keep going down the line so that's how you use the operations the sentence I've used since I was a kid was please excuse my dear Aunt Sally and that one stuck uh, you can also use just the word PEMDAS and that should give you a good hint on which order to uh, to use the operations and how the system's going to look at it